welcome to the multiplication course. My name is Steve Whiteborny and this is 36 Relationships Part 2. In the last video, we shaded in multiples of 1, multiples of 10, and we also shaded in factors which were shown on the chart in more than one place as we took a careful look at the commutative property. In this video, we're going to record these 36 relationships. You'll need a pencil and a piece of paper, so pause the video until you have a pencil and a piece of paper ready. Now that you have a pencil and a piece of paper ready, let's get ready to write down the 36 relationships. When we finish, your paper will look like this with all 36 relationships recorded on your paper. To begin, you'll need to prepare your paper with 36 triangles. To do that, draw six triangles across the top and remember, you can pause the video at any point. Then draw a second row of six triangles, then a third row of six triangles, then a fourth row of six triangles, remembering that you can pause at any point, then a fifth row of six triangles, and a sixth row of six triangles. Again, you can pause the video at any point. We'll continue when you're ready. Now that you've prepared your 36 triangles, each of the products shown in white will appear in the top of those 36 triangles. We'll begin by filling in the relationships in these six triangles across the top. This is the first triangle. In the first triangle, write two times two is equal to four. Remember, you can pause the video at any point, so I'll move at a steady pace, but if you would like to pause to have more time, you're welcome to do so. In the second triangle, write two times three is equal to six. In the next triangle, write two times four is equal to eight. In the next triangle, write two times five is equal to 10. And again, pause the video at any point. In the next triangle, write two times six is equal to 12. In the next triangle, write two times seven is equal to 14. And that completes the top row. Let's move to the second row. In the next triangle, write two times eight is equal to 16. In the next triangle, write two times nine is equal to 18. In the next triangle, write three times three is equal to nine. In the next triangle, write three times four is equal to 12. In the next triangle, write three times five is equal to 15. In the next triangle, write three times six is equal to 18. And that completes the second row. Let's move to the third row. In the next triangle, write three times seven is equal to 21. In the next triangle, write three times eight is equal to 24. In the next triangle, write three times nine is equal to 27. In the next triangle, write four times four is equal to 16. In the next triangle, write four times five is equal to 20. In the next triangle, write four times six is equal to 24. And that completes the third row. Let's move to the fourth row. In the next triangle, write four times seven is equal to 28. In the next triangle, write four times eight is equal to 32.
In the next triangle, write 4 times 9 is equal to 36. In the next triangle, write 5 times 5 is equal to 25. In the next triangle, write 5 times 6 is equal to 30. In the next triangle, write 5 times 7 is equal to 35. And that completes the fourth row. Let's move to the fifth row. In the next triangle, write 5 times 8 is equal to 40. In the next triangle, write 5 times 9 is equal to 45. In the next triangle, write 6 times 6 is equal to 36. In the next triangle, write 6 times 7 is equal to 42. In the next triangle, write 6 times 8 is equal to 48. In the next triangle, write 6 times 9 is equal to 54. And that completes the fifth row. Let's move to the final row. In the next triangle, write 7 times 7 is equal to 49. In the next triangle, write 7 times 8 is equal to 56. In the next triangle, write 7 times 9 is equal to 63. In the next triangle, write 8 times 8 is equal to 64. In the next triangle, write 8 times 9 is equal to 72. And in the last triangle, write 9 times 9 is equal to 81. And that completes all 36 relationships. We'll take a much more careful look at each of these relationships because each triangle represents so many different ideas. As a quick recap, we've looked at the multiples of 1, the multiples of 10, the commutative property of multiplication, and we've seen how several of these products appear on the chart in more than one place. And now we've looked at these 36 relationships. This is the Multiplication Course. My name is Steve Whitemorning, and this is 36 Relationships, Part 2.